just me again. My workout partner's giving up on me, per usual. Uh, do something fun today though. We'll do, um, you know, still trying to build up some power and things like that. Uh, you know, not doing quite as much CrossFit obviously as usual these days. Um, definitely focusing solely on the boxing, but uh, still using some CrossFit style of working out to to stay in shape and, and to build power. So I'm uh, gonna do a, a little sled push, power clean workout, and then um, yeah, maybe some accessory stuff afterwards. So, yeah, so it's CrossFit Games week. Um, we're filming this a little early, but when you guys are watching this, it'll be ending. Uh, my predictions for the women, Tia is gonna, I think, you know, probably take it. Um, for the men, I don't have any idea. Uh, you know, there's some pretty, uh, it's so open now with Matt out of the field. Um, you know, it's always a bummer not to watch someone who's so dominant in a sport. Uh, Matt, you know, decided to, I think he's decided to take this year off. We might see him come back, who knows. Um, but be that as it may, he's not there this year. So, uh, you know, you got some pretty big, you know, some, some young new guns coming up, contending, and then you got some, some of the old guys out there still fighting, older guys out there fighting for it. You know, guys like Noel Olson, who's been around since 2014. Um, you got, you know, Justin Medeiros. You got uh, that Jason Hopper. Um, you know, he's making some waves right now. Pancheks, both both Panchek brothers there, or two of the three, um, could definitely make some waves and make some, make some some flashes. Like I, you know, love to see Scott do well. He uh, the the last time he competed individually, it was one of his best seasons. He took fourth, um, just finished off the podium. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see him, him and his brother in there fighting. My. Uh, I want to go with Justin Madero, so I think that kid's a stud. I think he's a up and coming um, <clears throat> ammo. I like his attitude. I like his grit. I like his toughness. So, really hoping he do, does well. We'll all know when you're watching this video what happens. But um, good luck to everyone. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> my shoelace getting caught. <laughs> tire shoes, folks, tire shoes. They bike got a flat tire. Ah <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> flat. Look at some of these names. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah, Alexander Karen, Roman Krinikov, Noah. Oh fuck, Fakowski, Velner. <laughs> 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 the ones have been like Cole Sager in the top five for a while. <laughs> yeah, really, right? You know, well, last year they didn't compete, right? That's I, I think that was what was throwing me, right? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty was such a weird, weird, a weird year. Yeah, yeah. Belder, Fakowski. You know, we'll see. That's they. This is a big, big year for. This is a big year for Brent. I think. I think Belder's going to be up there, right? Um, Belder's going to be top three, most likely. Uh, Cole Sager, man, that dude, he crushed his uh, his semifinal, um, which was shocking because he'd had, uh, you know, a new baby and there was, um, the baby was born premature and so I'm sure the stress on that was huge. If Eleanor doesn't have any big miss -ups, mishaps like he did at in 19 where he missed the cut, um, you know, he's going to do well. Uh, Fakowski. Fakowski tip typically does well at the games, man. He he uh, he always comes to he always comes typically to to throw down. He had a, a slip up same thing in 19 where he missed that cut, um, but I think that's gonna probably light a fuel under him. And then 2020 20, again, I just kind of throw that year out a little bit. It was just so weird and awkward, and um, only five guys, and you had a a, a, te a small test to get you there. So it's just a different year, and, I, and not taking anyway. It, anything away from the people, what happened in 2020 for the people who did go to the games, just different. So it's hard to judge off that year. Um, you know, Christy, Christy Aramo coming out of that, uh, Aramo O'Connell coming out of the, um, 
that last chance qualifier. That was um, that was really cool to watch. Uh, Danielle Brand, you know, she had a she seems like she's having a great year. She's kind of um, you know she's only been to the games, I think, the one time, not including the 2020 like early stage. Carrie Pierce, probably the, one of the most decorated American, always typically has a great uh, games. Bethany Shadburn had a great semifinal. Katrin, I mean, cat, you can't ever get, count Katrin out. She's she's awesome. She's a freak. Tia, Amanda Barnhart, Brooke Wells. I mean, gosh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I'm I'm, I'm super excited to watch. Always am. Um, it's gonna be fun. All right, so the workout's gonna be 10 power cleans at 155 pounds. I'm, I'm staying lighter on my weights right now. It's just not something that I'm focusing on, right? It's getting strong, so, but I still wanna build some power. Um, and power cleans are a great tool. Uh, sled push is another great tool for that. So um, not going super heavy on this. Uh, you could scale this up if you wanted to, if this is like something more you're focusing on, right? Is, hey, I wanna build strength, I wanna build power. Uh, so I'm keeping my weights a little bit lighter um, just because that's, that's where I'm at, right? I'm at, with the boxing, uh, you know, anything that makes me really tight or anything like that is not really good for me. So um, just keeping the weights down a little bit, but still working on some explosiveness. So 10 power cleans, 155, 100 foot slept push. Eight power cleans, 185, 100 foot slept push. Uh, six power cleans at 205, 100 foot slept push. Rest two minutes. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up. So I'm gonna start with, the, on the second set, after the two minute rest, the six power cleans at 205, sled push. Eight power cleans, 185, 100 foot sled push. 10 power cleans, 155, 100 foot sled push. So you're gonna end with, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna start with the sled push and do the power cleans last. You'll just, you're just going in reverse order now with uh, the, the power clean weight and rep scheme. So yeah, should be good. Um, I'm gonna have one bar, change my weights. Uh, you can do it however you want. If you have multiple bars, it's not a big deal. It is what it is. So uh, I'm just not gonna set three bars. All right. So in the end, we're gonna we decided to, just to go back. So basically down and then up, right? So no rest in between. I don't think the two minutes rest is really necessary. I don't think there will be the much drop off. We'll see. I actually think the backside might be a little bit faster because the weights on the back end will feel lighter because of coming from a heavier load. So we'll see about that. But um, yeah, uh, again, this is a lighter, lighter weight for me. So um, if you decide that you want to go a little heavier on it, by all means do it. If you even wanted to go down to 108642 and build even heavier, do that too. This is just a but this looks like this seems like a fun workout. Um, not the high volume isn't the volume isn't as high, so I shouldn't stay like get super tight or sore, um, which right now is kind of what I'm focusing on. I don't want to be too tight or sore for uh, for boxing, right? I gotta stay loose, so my hand speed stays up. It's like knock, 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 knock. so here we go.
good. That was really good. Backside was definitely faster. Um, but like almost 40 seconds. I think I finished the six and six at 205 on the first end with 100. Finished the sled push on that front end at uh, 5.57. So basically six minutes. I finished the workout at 11.21. So almost 40 seconds faster on the back side. Uh, the weight didn't feel heavy on the front end. It was just felt a lot lighter on the back end. So sled push was good. Sled push was kind of where you started to hurt, at least for me, started to hurt. Heart rate got up. It was good. It was a good push. It was like get over and get your weights situated and get going. No reason to lollygag. Cause that makes you lollygag. Right, Crow? Right. He's back. He's back. Yeah, let's know if you go. Let's let us know if you do it. Let's know how it goes. Um, give some ideas. Good luck to everyone that competed at the games this week. Congratulations, you know, you are one of the fittest people on earth. And you should be proud of the fact, no matter where you end up placing, I'll be proud of your effort. Take away where you could have made, uh, made some adjustments and made progress. You know, write it down, figure out what you could do for next year, right? You're always growing, always getting better. But don't let it take away from being proud of the moment where, you know, you got to the CrossFit Games. It is a very, very hard task um, that doesn't get recognized nearly as much. Those people at the bottom, in the middle, and at the top, all of them deserve respect and admiration because uh, to go to the CrossFit Games and to take last place is, is still a very, very hard thing to do. Um, like, you know, I can't remember which announcer said, I think it was Woodland. You know, to go to the CrossFit Games and to suck is still, you have to be incredibly fit to be there. So, um, enjoy, enjoy the time that you got on the floor. It's not always gonna be there. One day it's gonna go away and uh, yeah. And you know, it's, um, but, you, but you got it there, you, you made it. And so celebrate that, celebrate that moment, um, but then grow from it, learn from it and move forward and have goals and steps to get there. So again, congratulations to the winners, to the people who were there, to the volunteers, to Dave. I'm sure it's gonna be a great test. I'm sure it was a great test. So yeah, subscribe to the thing and as always, don't forget to pay the man.